All right, we're here today to show you how to program presets on RiffStep, the Whammy Enhancer by Step Audio. The first thing to do is select the preset that you want to program. All you do is hold down the tap button until the current preset starts blinking. You can cycle through the presets using the step button or turning the knob. So we'll program preset 4. Press the tap button again to select it. To get into programming mode, press in the button until all the LEDs start blinking. And then release. Now the first thing you do is select the number of steps in the sequence. Right now it's showing six. Let's make a four step sequence. Press the button again to select the type of preset you want to program. You can always change this later. The different types of presets are written on the box. The two LEDs next to the writing tell you what type of program it is. Right now it's showing two-step. Turn the knob to change that. There's tap, which is a tap tempo sequence that keeps looping. MIDI, which is like a tap tempo sequence, but it uses MIDI clock to set the timing. One shot, which is like a tap tempo sequence, except it only plays through the sequence once when you press the button. Set, which is different whammy settings, because you can use the whammy normally, you can use Rift Step just to select which of the whammy settings you want to use, and then rock the treat all like you normally would. And then there's one step, which is like two step, but the sequence advances only each time you press the button, not when you release it like it does with two step. Let's program in a tap sequence. So we select tap and then press the button. The next thing to do is select the number of measures. That tells you how long your sequence is going to last compared to the taps. One measure equals the time between taps. Two measures means it takes twice as long. So let's use that. Now we're going to program the actual steps in the sequence. For each step you choose whether it's going to be a pitch or a harmony interval because the whammy can do both. The blocks of LEDs tell you whether it's pitch or harmony. You can see the writing in between the LEDs. On the right side it says pitch and the left side it says harmony. We'll make a harmony interval first. So we turn the knob to select harmony then we press the button again to start programming the actual interval. Now play your guitar and you'll hear the interval. You turn the knob to change it. Now we'll move on to the next step. Again, each time it asks you whether you want a pitch or a harmony. This time let's do a pitch. Turn the knob to select the interval. Press the button again to advance. We'll do another harmony interval for the third step. Now you'll see it's showing that we're on the third step. One last interval. We'll do another pitch. Now if we want to hear the sequence, we just press the step button to start the sequence playing. If we want it to go faster, we just tap in a new tempo. Now we're not stuck with this as a tap tempo sequence. We can switch it over to a two-step. All we do is press the button again and it takes you back to the beginning of programming. Again, here's where we select the number of steps, press again, and now we can tell it what type of program we want. Right now it's on tap. If we want two-step, just turn the knob. Now to save that preset, just hold in the button until the LEDs show a smiley face. And now we're good. Now we can play our sequence. Since we saved it as a two-step, 
The sequence will advance each time we press the button, and again each time we release the button, which makes it easy to groove along with a live drummer, and to mix up the rhythm of the sequence. Now if we want to switch it back to a tap tempo sequence, we just hold down the button to go back into programming mode. Again, here's where it asks you how many steps. Let's press the button again, turn the knob and select tap. Then hold in the button again to save. So that's all there is to it. Once you get the hang of it, programming presets on RiffStep is fast and fun. There's lots more information over at stepaudio.net, including videos and a complete owner's manual.